Oh my, I am thirsty. I think I'm going to pour myself a glass of this tasty looking sports drink. Despite the fact that it has pictures of a mop and a bucket on it, and it's made by Colgate Palmolive, which you really don't think of as a Gatorade competitor, and despite the fact that I bought it in the cleaning section of the supermarket, I'm going to take it. Well, it tastes a little funny. Oh, but what the heck. Something like that happened to at least 234 people in the state of Texas. That is, 234 people mistook this for a sports drink. Now you might say, hey, that does look a bit like a sports drink. Actually, you'd probably say, that looks a lot like Gatorade, unless you're someone like a news anchor who's not allowed to mention brand names. You'd probably feel sorry for those 234 people. And then you'd think, or I'd like to think you'd think, hey, in my supermarket, the sports drinks are nowhere near the floor cleaners. How did 234 people confuse this with Gatorade? How would that happen? You'd be in the supermarket looking at Mr. Clean and Formula 409, and suddenly you'd see a bottle of Fabuloso. And you'd think, funny place for a sports drink, but it sure does look tasty. Ah, you'd say, the parents probably bought it, and the kids found it, mistook it for a sports drink, and they're the ones who drank it. Forgetting that no one mentioned whether any of these 234 people were kids, how exactly would that happen? Did the parents put it in the fridge? Or did they put it someplace else where kids could find it easily? I mean, really, how dumb would you have to be to either A, buy this by mistake, thinking it was a sports drink that happened to be put in the aisle with the Mr. Clean, or B, put it someplace that's really easy for some kids to get at it? I did mention these were 234 cases in Texas, right? Yeehaw! Here's something else. Quoting from one article, In the first three months of 2006, researchers found 104 records in the Texas Poison Control Center database of human ingestion of Fabuloso. Of these, 94 were unintentional and two were occupational exposures. Hmm. That means eight people tried to do what? Commit suicide by floor cleaner? And what if it's something more sinister? See, Fabuloso is marketed to Hispanics. You probably won't find it at Walmart or your local redneck shops. What if making it look like a sports drink was all part of the plan? Maybe it's a whole new twist on the idea of ethnic cleansing. I'm Andrew Cantor, and as always, thanks for watching.